متخصصة للناس اللي ما معهم انشورنس ففي مجموعة اتفق هو مجموعة سكان في منطقة شيكاغو بحيث انهم يوفروا خدمة بسيطة وخدمة رخيصة للجاليات الاسلامية فمع الدكتور اسهر قادر فليتفضل ليشرح برنامجه الصحيح Thank you very much for the introduction, uh, uh, Zakia. And uh, again, thank you for allowing us to speak for a few minutes. I just take a brief, maybe three or four minutes, to explain the different programs that we have been doing in the community for many years. Alhamdulillah, I think we've been coming here also and doing some health screening which uh, some of you have done with our hope and uh, many more may benefit in the future. The program that we have is called Compassionate Care. The last one that I launched in the first year of Iman, if you are accepted. But along with that gift of Iman, there is another gift which is very important for us in our life, that is the gift of health. Some of us have good health, some of us don't have good health. For all of us, are given the gift of free health in the beginning of our life. It is our duty to protect it, to preserve it, and to promote it. Unfortunately, in America, as you know, there are some barriers to the access to affordable health care. 50 million people are uninsured. Many, many more people are probably also undocumented that don't have any health insurance. And then there are people that visit us from overseas. Those people also come here as visitors. They don't have any insurance either. So in order for all of these individuals to have good health, there's a need for them to have access to affordable health care. And many years ago, before this whole debate about health care, whether it's a right or it's a privilege came about during the Obama campaign and all, we have maintained that as Muslims, as Muslim physicians, we agree that health care should be a right of all individuals in a civil society. At least affordable health care. We spend about two and a half billion dollars in America on health care, and we are not even the first five or six places in the world. So that's a huge problem. Now, what we had set up was free health screening to begin with in various community centers. And we did it in MCC to begin with. Then we have gone on to doing the health screening all over town. We found out that the first person that walked in at MCC was having a blood sugar of 400. Normal, it should be below 100. So, this is the reason why we decided that there's a need for us to do more and more of this. But once having made the diagnosis of a person having a problem, the question was how do we connect them to some division? Fortunately, there were a few physicians who agreed to see these patients for a flat fee. That was $25 for visits for the primary care and $35 for the patient. Now this network of physicians has now expanded. We now have a hundred about 150 providers. These are physicians, primary care, as well as specialists there. We also have dentists along with them. We have chiropractors, podiatrists. We also have lab and imaging centers as well as healthcare agencies of all different kinds. Now, during Ramadan, we allow people who need this kind of a service to join this program for free. There is no fee during the course of the entire month for people to join and meet for the next six months. And then after that, if you like the program, if you appreciate the sufficient help that you're getting, then you stay in the program for a very small nominal fee. The nominal fee is just $10 a month. So uh, we will be Staying here for the rest of the evening, we will have a desk there with application forms in there. So anyone who wants to join the program, who feels that there is somebody who can benefit from it, please talk to us about it. Students can join, and visitors can join, and of course people that don't have any health insurance definitely should consider joining. There is another program that I think people should also know, and that's the Cook County program that has recently started. And I hope that you will also 
get the benefit of that program because that program is also available now till the time that Obamacare comes into picture also. And we've got some information on that. People have to qualify and need some levels for that. But that program will give you access to hospital services, which is in the Cook County system, Georgia Hospital. And it will also give you access to many, many clinics all over town where you can go to see the doctor. People also want to know about prescription drugs. And the prescription drug program that works very well is a public program that you should know. If you have a doctor connection, get a prescription written up, which is a generic prescription written by the doctor, and you want to take that to Walmart pharmacy, and they will fill it up for $4 for the whole time. That's a public program. And that's a program that you should know about also and get benefited from it too. So we are going to stay here and talk about all of that for the rest of the evening. Inshallah, I hope that you will take the opportunity to stop by for a little while, take your flyers, get the application, and fill it up and give it to us. Or give it to us. Uh, here, Brother Zakia here in the office they from. Brother Zakia has also mentioned to me that we will be hooking up with a national organization to do some blood pressure checks in the community here. The blood pressure is very important because one in three or five have problems with blood pressure and we don't know about it. And if this we get documented as to whether we have a problem with blood pressure or not, then we are not getting any treatment for the doctor. Blood pressure leads to stroke, blood pressure leads to heart attack. So all of those complications of blood pressure are very important for us to know. You should know that about one million people have heart attack every year in America. Many of you probably just know some friends of yours who have gone through that experience also. Half of them don't even survive. So this is a huge problem. And therefore, doing the blood pressure check is a very simple thing. We can do the blood pressure check on human memory. After the human you just quickly do it. It takes us about one minute for you to get recorded. And then if there is a problem with that, then we can talk about that. So Brother Zakia can give you some more details about that also in the office. But if you have any questions, ask him or ask me how to take on. Again, thank you very much for giving this opportunity to talk for you. Dear Ikhwan, this is the program that is important to talk about. The program is the program that is the program. هلا إذا كان ضغطك عالي ممكن يسبب إما سكتة قلبية أو جلطة دماغية إذا كان ضغط عالي فإذا ما كان عندك فكرة إن ضغطك عالي أو ما بتقيس الضغط أصلا ممكن يكون عندك ضغط عالي وأنت مش عارف ما تشوف إلا قسم من نصفك موقف بدون ما تعرف شو السبب لأنك ما بتراقب الضغط هلا إحنا في عندنا بروجرام مشان نراقب الضغط طبعا في مساعدة الدكاترة الدكتور أزهر كانوا يجوا عندنا يفحصوا هيد سكريننج من ضغط الدم السكري الهاي هذا البشر وأشياء ثانية كلها بلاش فأنت بتعرف بهي الطريقة إن في عندك ضغط دم مرتفع أو ما في عندك بحيث إنك تدير بالك هلا البروجرام اللي إحنا مشتركين مع وزارة الصحة في انه نساعد الناس لمعرفه ضغط الدم عندهم وبالتالي انت بتستطيع تقيس ضغط دمك اني تايم بتيجي على المسجد اي وقت بتيجي على المسجد انت بتقيس ضغط دمك احنا بنساعدك في عندنا ماشين خاصه لقياس هذا طبعا على طول بتروح اذا كان مرتفع على طول بتروح بتراجع دكتورك بحيث انك تصير على يعني وصفه طبيه فهذا البروجرام من اجلك ومن اجل صحتكم الاي سي تي اي يشارك في حفظ صحه القادمين اليك جزاكم الله كل خير وبارك الله فيكم ودمتم شكرا لمسجدكم